Hello ladies and gentlemen, it's Mike here at Game From Scratch and it is the first Tuesday of the month and you know what that means if you are a subscriber. It is time for Unreal Christmas in May. Oh my goodness, it's May. Uh, anyways, first Tuesday of every month, Unreal Engine gives away a bunch of free stuff. This month is no exception and we're going to start hands-on with some of those assets. The first one we are going to see here is the Stone Pine Forest asset. This is... Well, it's for making forest scenes. We're actually going to go ahead and look at one of the demo maps. I'll bring up another demo map in just a second. But it is all of the assets you see to make what you see in front of you. You know, things like trees and foliage <coughs> and uh, other things like that. Uh, so this is the one demo map. Uh, you see here we've even got road systems using splines in here as well. Let's bring up another map in this sequence. So this is just a different demo. You see here, again, all the assets you need to create this. Um... Like so, pretty straightforward. Next up, we also have the mountain map. Again, it, it's basically a collection of trees and shrubs and grasslands and, and textures and so on. We'll get back to the exact makeup of these guys in just a second. Okay, I swore I opened this one already, so this should be quick. But unfortunately, uh, it is not. So I'm going to pause till it finishes. And then as I pause it, it actually finishes. So here you see, again, it's the stuff needed to make a map like this so you can look at it it's a collection of meshes uh bushes rocks tr uh cliffs so on and then also the materials to go with it and of course the textures to create those materials so that is the stone pine forest next up we are going to look at the reef kit again this one is pretty straightforward i did not mean to go to meshes i meant to go to levels uh this is what you need to create a reef so things like sunken boats Rocks, uh, old bolt propellers, starfish, um, underwater foliage, uh, oops, uh, and so on. So you got a number of things here. Let's go look at the demo map for this one. Uh, so that is the showcase. Let's open that guy up. And here you see the end result. So this is an underwater reef type scene. Again, pretty straightforward in what it is all about. Uh, so you got these nicely swaying animated... Um, reeds i guess it would be weeds reeds reeds anyways uh, that is that particular map and then finally the last one i'm going to demonstrate today is this guy right here this is i forget the exact name of it we'll get to it in just a second uh, but this is uh, a modular kit for creating um castles for the most part so here you can see all the various different pieces that go together uh, as part of this, again, nice thing is you got particle effects for things like uh, fires and smoke to come out of chimneys and so on. Uh, and then we've got a bunch of uh, walls that you can snap together like Lego pieces to create your own environments accordingly. Pretty straightforward. And now let's look at the showcase map for that guy right here. And here you can see how they're used to create a medieval environment. And you can see actual... There's decent uh, parity between the three objects I just demonstrated because the art styles would all work together. So if you wanted to go from here to a forest environment, um, you can easily do so mixing and matching between these two assets. The art style is consistent. It's not like one is low poly or anything like that. Neither is really hyper realistic either. Uh, so th the three that I demoed, I think would all uh, work together well enough. Nice looking map. Um, so if you're looking to create uh, castles, we got you covered. You're looking to create forests and cliffs, we got you covered. And if you want to have underwater reefs, we've got you covered there as well. So that is three of the five. We'll look at the exact details of them with the other two right now. Now, if you're interested in checking these things out, it is available at the Unreal Engine Marketplace or use the Epic Game Launcher. What you want to do is go to the free category and then find free for this month. That free for this month part is very important, by the way, uh, because quite frankly, if you do not buy it by the first Tuesday of next month, I put buy in air quotes. Uh, if you do not buy it by then, uh, quite simply, uh, you don't get it. So it, it is completely free to pick up, but you do only have until the first Tuesday of next month. So that is the first asset we've got there. So let's go take a look. So the Stone Pine Forest, we saw this one in action. Uh, pretty straightforward, 32 meshes, fairly low polygon counts, 165 textures to go together. Uh, there's even a procedural <coughs> system uh, for uh, managing your shrubberies. Uh, automatic slope texture coordinate system, uh, no viewable LOD transitions. We've got two demo maps going on. Background maps to um, 
complement the uh, environments you're creating. So there's a bit more to it than just assets, some systems to go with it. So that is the Stone Pine Forest. Now, one we didn't cover is the Niagara Mega VFX Pack Volume 1. Uh, this is a collection of Niagara particle systems. Niagara is the particle system built into Unreal Engine 4 and 5. And this includes six packs, stylized attack, stylized shooting, uh, so muzzle, flash, bullet trails, impacts, and so on. Uh, basics, pickup VFX set, ice skills, ray VFX pack, and the projectile pack. So if you want to drill down into any of these, you can do so. Uh, but it's a number of basically particle effects for you to drop into your game. Next up, we have the Sunset Modular Medieval Brick Buildings. Weird they don't use the word castle, but okay, that is what we looked at there. Um, uh, update 5.0, new assets. Man, that word, it's everywhere today. Um, so what are you getting here? You're getting 120 modular building assets for things like castle walls, churches, houses, keeps, uh, optimized for POM and PDO. All right, my acronym powers are not working today. Uh, there's 40 interior messages, messes, uh, meshes, my mouth isn't working either. Uh, 40 interior meshes for doing the inside of said buildings. Uh, interactive animated door blueprints, uh, 10 plus basic furniture meshes, and 30 plus medieval clutters. And you've got all these various different pieces here. Now, interestingly enough, distance-based tessellation material only works with Unreal Engine 4. I guess that makes sense because Unreal Engine 5, uh, all the tessellation is handled by Nanite now. So um, it, in what all the demos you saw today were in Unreal Engine 5. So those three assets work and confirmed in Unreal Engine 5. Uh, I don't even know if I have Unreal Engine 4 installed anymore, to be honest. Uh, so that is uh, the Sunset Modular Medieval Brick Building Pack. Next up, we have the Reef Kit Pack, a fully customizable set of assets to create a living, breathing, underwater scene with a variety of dynamic seaweed, corals, rocks, landscape materials, and particle systems. You are getting 45 meshes, including 8 seaweeds, 15 corals, 10 rocks, 2 starfish, 1 boat, 1 jellyfish, uh, 1 normal fish, uh, cave entrance, light shaft, plane, plane turbine, uh, torch, shark body, and shark head, and then 3 blueprints for light shafts, torches, and so on. Um, and you got five different bubbles, uh, five different particle systems for creating things like schools of fish, bubbles, floating dust, and so on. Uh, so if you want to do underwater scenes, that was what Reef Kit was all about. And then finally, for the equestrian types, we have the horse starter kit. Now the funny thing is, I think we already actually have a horse controller uh, from previous free. So now you actually have options of your horses. You want to have a horse in your game. This has thing idling, walking, trotting, and so on. Uh, it's got one fully rigged and animated horse skeletal mesh with reins and saddle. Pieces, 69 animations for both horse and rider uh, using Unreal Engine skeletons. Uh, two animation blueprints for both the horse and rider. A 2D, 2D movement blue, uh, blend space for both the horse, horse and the... Wow, I can't stop, speak today. Um, so basically, you want to have a horse in it. It's an animated horse and an animated rider to go with said horse. Uh, so uh, if you want horses in your game... You are good to go with the horse starter kit. So that is the end of the free for the month stuff. The cool thing here is there is also the permanently free collection. And so far as I can tell, because they're not always sorted, but in this case, it does seem to be. These have no time limit. You can come download them whenever you wish. As, at least, as you saw, you can get them free uh, and then permanently free. So no time limit on these ones. And you're getting the commercial long range aircraft. Um, it looks like... Oh, is that a 747? No, it's not a 747. Anyways, uh, it might be an Airbus. Uh, you're getting one big jet liner mesh with PBR materials, uh, rigged and animated. Animation blueprints includes as posed to each included animation part. Includes the fictitious airline liveries inspired by real airplanes that can be tinted in different colors. Um, so you got the one mesh, seven collision meshes to go with it. Uh, it is 57,000 kilometers, which is game usable for sure. Uh, and here you can see it from a variety of different angles and i think that is the summary pick no it is not a summary pick all right so that's it pretty pretty normal uh, on the whole so that is this month's free stuff i ask the same question i do every month do you like what you get if you're an Unreal Engine developer? And if you are not an Unreal Engine developer, does all of this free stuff sort of tempt you? I would honestly say, no matter if you are using Unreal Engine or not, sign up, start hoarding. You never know if you're going to change your mind or if these will come useful to you in some way, shape, or form. But that is this month's uh, free for the month collection. Uh, so we've got the forest one, the special effects packs, uh, the modular castle, the reef kit, and the horse starter kit. Plus we have a 747 looking jet. Uh, the fictitious style jet in the permanently free collection let me know what you think comments down below i will talk to you all later goodbye